I have a small drone in my pocket. You probably all have a phone in your pocket. Now, this drone and this phone are pretty similar. All the sensors you need in this smartphone, your GPS, your magnetometer, your accelerometer to, to tilt your map upside down, are the same sensors we use for these very small drones. Thanks to this smartphone revolution and shrinking down all these sensors, we're able to make very tiny, tiny autopilots. And these tiny autopilots are needed for very small drones. So I predict in five years, everybody who has now a smartphone in his pocket will also have a drone in his pocket. I have here a very tiny drone in my pocket. And I will try to demonstrate them today. I'm indoor in a room, so I have to control them myself. But then when I'm outdoor, I have here all the electronics. Very small electronics, which make this drone completely autonomous. So you can fly it on Google Earth, and you say, OK, go to that space or do that, to that place. And this tiny GPS and all these smart sensors and smart software will let it fly to that place. Let's see how it will behave here indoor in this room. Always very exciting. <laughs> Let's hope technology don't fail today. So here you see the very small drone flying around, controlled by me. But imagine that you're outdoor and that you just have an iPhone in your pocket and you select on the iPhone, follow me. So you're skiing in the mountains. You have a very small camera on this drone and this small camera want to film you when you're going down from the slope from the skiing experience. Now, this is a prototype, so it doesn't have a camera yet, but it has all the small electronics that we designed in the University of Aerospace Engineering in the TU Delft. And actually, all the software and hardware on this small drone is completely open source. So everybody in the world can contribute and can use this software and hardware to make its own small drones. Why do we do that? Because we believe... <laughs> we believe if we make it open source, then more and more people have access to these drones. And we have access to all these drones. You will see some great things popping out. When you first had your smartphone, you probably didn't know why you need it, just because it's a gadget and my cool neighbor also has it, so I need it also. But then the Facebook revolution started, and the Facebook apps were appearing. And now everybody cannot live without their smartphone anymore. So the same idea we have for these small drones. This is actually a flapping wing drone, a little bit bigger, so it doesn't fit in my pocket yet, but we try to make them smaller also. But if the Facebook app for these drones will appear in the future, yeah, then probably you will find it very natural that in this audience, in this room, Small drones were flying around. This big pole with this big camera there probably will not be there anymore, but there will be a drone flying over the audience trying to film me from all angles. So all these kind of predictions hopefully will come out. This one also has a small camera, so I will try to turn it on, and then you can see probably yourself on the big screen while I'm flying this small drone. This is called the Delphi. It's a flapping wing UV. It's actually made, most of the items are made from foam and from foam. So the wings are made from foam. And it's very lightweight. It only weighs 17 grams. And you can see yourself probably now on the big screen. So imagine that I'm not here, but that your smartphone is controlling this drone and stay above your head. 
to make a bird's eye view of what's happening today. 17 grams is also very important because if you want to operate these drones, they have to be safe. And safety is one of our main concerns when we try to optimize these drones. So that's why we make them very lightweight and very small. <laughs> By making them very lightweight and very small, we make it very hard for ourselves. Maybe we can have the camera images back. So this is the complete autopilot, what's on this drone. If I put it in my hand, you can see how small it is. And why do we make this so small? Because we are engineers, and we have to do research, and we want to do hard things. And by making it small, everything is harder. You have limited power. You have limited processing uh, power. So you have to make smart softwares, smart hardware to make this thing fly and fly autonomously. I thank you, and I hope to see more drones in the future.